So I ran into this problem and had to figure it out myself. So here's how you do tracking text in Luma Fusion. So the effect we're trying to get is uh, the following clip here, which is we're tracking a seagull and it's saying flying rat. It's rather rather a simple effect, but um, I thought it wasn't obvious how you do it. So the first step would be, of course, delete it. So now we just have our clip, for example, and what we want to do is we want to click on add overlay title. We want to match this overlay title to our actual sequence here um, to however long we want it. Um, in this case, that's probably about right. And so then we want to double click the text. So we actually go into edit mode. We want to change the text, of course. So we'll call it flying, flying rat, dot, dot, dot. And then we'll adjust the size of the text to something that we find reasonable. So we want to go to size, make that a lot smaller. And then we want to find the part of our clip where we actually want to edit this. So it starts around here. Now we want to make sure that the whole thing is in the image when we actually uh, start editing it. But we can click it and it might be easier without a mouse here to just drag it with the Apple Pencil. There we go. And I also want to add another little thing, which is I would like to add a um, shape. So we can go to add and then shape. And our shape will be an arrow. We want to, of course, change the size of the arrow quite significantly. So I'm just going to do that with a pencil here. And then um, you know, we can we can play around however we want, but let's also do some rotation here. So I'm simply going to rotate it at the bottom right there. And then again, use the Apple Pencil to sort of adjust it a little bit and grab the position, which you can also just edit like such. Um, something like that, and then just move it a bit left. You just want to get a general positioning of the two elements before you actually get any movement. So now we have the two shapes here and we want to go to the bottom left here and look at position tracking. So we click that and now we have a keyframing tool here. So this is gonna be our first keyframe. We're going to click okay. So now we see it's been added here and then we can go ahead and skip a couple frames. So we'll see, um, we can start making this as fine as we want. I was gonna go about every two frames so you can simply go double click it, move it again, and we see it adds automatically. Another two frames, move. Another two frames, move. Another two frames, move. Of course, if you do this every frame, it's going to be a lot smoother. And if you use the actual um, X and Y position, instead of moving it manually like I am, you'll get a lot uh, more granul granular control. But for the sake of this, um, I think that's fine. And just uh, keep doing this. Until you're off the frame. And then once we're done with this, we can simply go back. And now when we try to play the video, we can see we have a tracking effect of the seagull. And of course you can work to refine this, but uh, that's basically how you do it.